All right, everyone. In this video, I'm going to do my best to show you how to install Mac OS X Snow Leopard on your VirtualBox. Now, I'm using Oracle VirtualBox, by the way. And it all depends on the ISO that you, which ISO you get, where you get it, what type it is to do your settings. Now, this one here, I get mine from Hazard Leopards. You can get there from hazardleopards.com and they work as a team and this is a little bit about them they're completely free all they ask and they don't want donations all they ask in return is for you to supply them with drivers if at all possible now you'll notice if you click home it will be leo hazards now apparently they work together this tells us our flash drivers and everything well then you click download now this one right here is the one that i got i chose this one because it's uh for it, 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 it's a completely stable system to run on non-Apple hardware. It takes the minimum requirements of SSE2 CPUs and requires, preferably, they say it requires that much, but I don't quite give it that much, 512 megabytes of RAM. Now, just to make that clear, your system, the requirements you must have, it has to be a 64-bit operating system, with a dual core processor and you must and I mean really must have virtualization technology enabled in your BIOS now on the bottom right hand corner here I'm gonna put a link to a video I made on how to activate or enable your virtualization in your BIOS and at any time I'll put it right there and of course you'll have to have um, plenty of space on your hard drive because uh, you, you definitely want to make enough room for it. Alright, let's get started. Now this one here is the one I downloaded. It's a torrent and I used uTorrent to download it. But I already have it so let's move on. Let's see, we'll start with creating a new machine. I already have it right here but let's create one just to show you. I'm going to name this one Mac S X test and instead of leaving it Mac OS X 64 I'm gonna name it Snow Leopard 64 bit now yours might not say that unless you updated all the way I, I have my virtual box completely updated to the newest version there is and I have the extension pack click next now right here the RAM they wanted 512 but as you can see here right there is the orange let's see well, I guess I can still give it I'll give it 550 next create a virtual hard drive now my favorite one VDI virtual box disk image next dynamically allocated that's the one I choose next and instead of leaving it at just 20 I'm gonna give it a little over 30 let's see uh, 31 will do and there we go now that we got that created go into settings and the general is more or less what we've already done now system pretty important right here where it says enable EFI special OS is only I've watched videos after videos and they all say uncheck that or it will not recognize it well you're about to see that if I do it will not recognize it unless I do check it so I'll leave that checked and processor I leave that alone execution cap is usually already at 100% acceleration a definite must both of these have to be checked off it will not load unless both of them are checked off display I take my video memory and go all the way leave the monitor count alone and these two you can put you can add them later and storage on your SATA drive you click on the empty optical drive click right here and let's go find the ISO that I was just showing you let's see right here snow leopard and if you notice here it says Intel or AMD so 
even if you have an AMD processor, it'll still work. Any AMD or Intel. Click open. Now that's attached to the virtual optical drive. Click OK. Now let's see if I got all them settings right. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks so. All right, now it's going to go through this whole process of doing what it does, and as soon as it gets to the very next step, I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to choose English. Click Next. Preparing installation. And this one here, I just click Continue. And this one here, it's already at English. I'm going to click Agree to the Terms. Now right here, let me move these out of the way, it wants you to choose a hard drive to install it on. Well there isn't any, but don't worry, we're going to make one right now. Up here at the top, click on Utilities, and click on Disk Utilities. Now right here, this is the virtual hard drive we created at the very beginning. So you highlight that, and over here you click on Erase and now if you want to change that you can I'm just gonna leave it named untitled and then you click erase right here and ask you one last time erase now the hard drive really is erased in all actuality it's just a file running inside your virtual box okay but it needs to be formatted in their own way alright there's the untitled virtual hard drive we created highlight that click continue and if you choose to customize it, I probably should, but for this video I won't. I'll leave that alone and I'll just go to install. Now this part right here, you can ignore that. All it does is checks the ISO that you are installing on it and it will not complete this process. It won't even start it until that's done. Okay, now it says about three minutes, but it's lying. <laughs> Believe me. My last one I installed, it went up to 20 minutes, and then it went back down. It goes up and down, so I'm going to be right back until it gets real close to the end. Okay. Now this is the very next step after it does that. Now this says computer will restart in 21 seconds. Now this is very important. As soon as you hit the restart button, like so, you want to go to right here, right click and remove disk from virtual drive and then force unmount. Now this process here can take a while. In fact, last time I had to actually reset it to start over. No, there it goes. Okay, as soon as it gets to the very next step, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back again, and here we need to decide. I'm going to choose United States. Let me turn this volume down. Click continue, and continue again. And no, I do not want to transfer now. So I click continue. And I'm going to skip the whole Apple ID and password. I think I'll put that in later. Let me get my cursor back. Continue. I'm going to skip all that too. And yes, I know the registration information is missing. I'm going to continue. And let's see. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to skip this too. Oh, okay, I'll just give it Lenny, and no, I don't want to give it an account name. I'm just not going to do this. Creating your account. Copying to Apple, talking to Apple. And let's see, I'm in, well, I'm in Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona is close enough. Continue. 
and go. And it looks like we're almost there. We still have the keyboard recognition. And a second now. There we go. Now, this cannot be identified. I always have a little trouble with this. And now it says press the key immediately to the right of the shift key on the left side. And on mine it's the letter Z. It says press it once and do not hold it down. Now last time this took like about two minutes so I'm going to try to make this video short and it never recognizes it anyway I'll show you what it does next. Okay now it goes to this side now I want to select United States and others and click done. Alright let's see I'll just get on Safari and show you that it will go. It'll be a little slow since it's loading the very first time. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe, uh, like or dislike. Thank you very much for watching.